hello everyone so i wish all of you a very happy new year so this is the first video in 2023 and today we are going to work on this uh, wind for this palm tree leaves so i have used a single material for both the bark and the uh, leaves but as you can see the bark is not moving only the leaves are moving so and same is true for this larger trees and yeah let's see how to add wind effect to those trees today okay so you can see these grasses do have um wind effect but these palm trees don't have any type of a wind they just stay still so i want to implement wind effects on these palm trees now but as you i'm not sure if i have showed you before this whole palm tree is has only one material that includes the bark as well so it would be a bit of a bit complicated to implement wind in here but anyway let's uh, add the wind node and see what happens wind uh, wind actor no I'm not sure how to oh how to use that one yeah, let's try this this one simple grass wind connect to all position offset we need let's promote these two parameters wait okay now if i give a value here intensity one let's keep one oh it's too much but one right now we do see some movement but it looks bad because even the bark is moving see which should not happen so uh, how do we make only the leaves move with the wind so for that here is the texture let me export this texture here and open photoshop okay here is this that image now if i want to completely avoid wind on the bark let me create a new layer and select this bark area and duplicate or oh, wait no need to have a new layer to control j duplicate so now we have the bark in a separate layer and let me make this completely black select the bark only and do a fill control shift sorry shift f5 fill and fill it with black now the bark is completely black let me save this mm. 
upon three T upon weight. Now let me import that and import this texture here. into our material then let's multiply this result with one of the channels using one is enough because it's black we only need a value between 0 and 1 so if I apply now we should see see no more movement in the bar but we still have movement in here in the tree leaves so nice but in the player's perspective do we see any moment here we do but they they are not really like the these type of leaves not supposed to move like this they should move in the wind different from the grass so this is actually grass wind because no wonder because we use the same function so uh, how can we get an effect that is more suitable for this for this type of a tree uh, let me try one more thing let's get vertex normal and can we use it here okay but yeah it's just something i need to face so all right let's try let's create our own function uh let's get this vertex normal oh hold on a second let's open this here we have 200 uh, absolute world position divide by 200 i think this 200 is who what decide the scale of the wind waves that means here you see these waves so if we need to increase the distance between those waves let me turn this into a sheet so we should be able to see it more clearly Let me try to change this into a higher value like 600 apply I should undo that because this uh, grass in node is see I'm not so sure let me undo this and keep the same value uh, let's try something different here let's get a sign and connect time here and multiply this with the vertex normal and get the texture coordinate we 
we need something moving uh am i doing it right so if i just connect the side and yeah if i just connect this in here you see it's so it's getting uh getting an offset along the normal of the vertex that means these trees the vertex are going outward from this leaf so that's why they are moving outward sort of okay now if we have some variation what we can do is let's add texture coordinate here Oh, can we use a panel? Yeah, that's more cleaner. Mm. Oh, here we get a vector three. That's the error. We can do this Mac log three. No, break to load two. Okay, R G and is it? I'll promote this to a constant one. Now no more errors and speed. Okay, now we see a moment. Well, it's not happening exactly in the way I want. Oh, hold on a second. Panel. This is wrong. Let's only go with texture coordinate. Okay, so I reverted the changes and switched back to this version without using the panel. Mm, but still I had to keep these things. So now we have this type of effect. Wait, why these sparks are moving here again? Alright, this one. Okay, now you see we have some moment in these leaves. So we can still improve this. They are not moving up and down, they are moving only along the vertices. So the vertex idea is not going to work, it seems. So let me just skip this. okay now it does move one more thing i don't want the center of this bark uh, the center of this uh, tree to move because it should be should stay attached to the bark so to prevent that we can 
go back here mm. the center is yeah let me select this and select color range sorry here select load selection okay all right and now this is the center part as i can see yeah so let's do a gradient fill with black and white why black is not there so this area should be black all right like this so the black area have no movement and as it turns white they have movement in the white areas do have movement so the movement with the wind increases as this part increase white so save and re-import oh hold on re-import Now you see this area stays stationary, no movement, but the leaves just have movement. Okay, and another problem is all the leaves. Uh, wait, let's use these parameters. Let's use the intensity parameter. To increase the intensity. If I make it 5, you see. It's like this. So what I wanted to highlight is, you see. The all the uh, all the trees moves in like uh, in synchronously. They are not like not independent. So that's what I wanted to fix. Uh, for that, I think if we get word position. and add here so as it goes inside the sign we would have a different different offset because sign returns a different value based on the world position so let's do a component mask RG see now it doesn't look like they are moving in the same at the same time so they are like more like moving independently okay 
and uh, still we don't have any vertical vertical moment we will fix that too but also here it seems a bit odd this part so we need to stop moving that area too what's that area here what are these This tree is by the way very low quality but it's nice I like the way it looks and also one of my friends created it so no copyright issues even if I share it okay Oops. Okay. So now this area is selected. Right. Save. And re import. Still, it does move. Did I re import? I did. What's wrong there? this part something else mm, does this part also affects there okay let's select this one also Or oh, maybe those uh, this tree, uh, this leaf. Anyway, this part. import still moving right so even though I make this part completely black it still moves for some reason which I can't find why I need to consult someone with more modeling knowledge right now the next thing is you see Here these are sort of like rotating or something. So I think this happens because of the 
from this point to this point I think there is some change in the world position so it has to have a bigger change than just a couple of units to have a different value have a change in the sign I put from 0 to 1 um, if I preview this so this is what we get the, so as you can see the distance between two minus one to plus one change in the sign is too low so to prevent that i think we can change the radius like this but now it's slow moving anyway let's see what happens if i i think it is still moving but not fast enough so yeah and let's have another parameter called with name and multiply the time in the speed if i make it 10 you see the speed is high 40 it's like this okay now you see it does move but without without those weird rotation like effects which looks nicer nice okay so now if i increase the intensity also mm -hmm. good so we should increase the scale of the wind so like this wave scale for that let's do something like this this should be like this let's add these two together the texture coordinate and the world position um, I'll have another parameter wind wave scale and we should divide this wait which one should i divide this one or this one let's first try this one divide it with the scale so when the scale goes becomes higher the Now it sort of looks like they are moving in the same time. Okay, so I divided the world position offset and kept 
that extra coordinate without any change like this and now it looks like this well actually I'm not even sure that texture coordinate do anything here yeah exactly it doesn't do anything because it's a very small value compared to this world position offset values okay now it's I'm actually okay with the way it looks now we can of course reduce the wind effect and like and we can change the parameters and fine tune but now let's see how to add some vertical movement to the leaves so we don't get a vertical movement here because we only get this RNG and actually we don't have to limit it anymore I think because we got some errors as we were using this vertex normal but now we don't use it anymore so we don't have to use this so we can directly put it here yeah Yeah, now we do have vertical moment. For leaves. But they kind of looks like breathing. let's uh, put this back to one now it's too wavy two. okay so I put wind speed to 10 and wave scale to 4 and this is the final result looks somewhat okay in the player's perspective so they have some movement they are not staying like still rigid uh, object so which is that's all I want to have some kind of a movement so you can even see here also this hanging leaves, uh, dried leaves are moving it's subtle, not like grass but that's enough so I'm gonna stop this episode right here now we have some wind on the leaves of these palm trees and thanks for watching as always project files will be available for the download in the patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.